Good evening, everyone. How are you all doing? Welcome back once again to the Promenade Ballroom. You're here watching us on a Tuesday. My name is Cake, and as per usual, I will be your host for tonight. And tonight I'm joined by Ariya and Abby. How are you two doing? Hello, I'm Ariya, and I finally can go join these ballrooms as a commentator because I do work from home and I can probably sleep in for longer because these ballrooms are absolutely taking too late. Hi, <laughs> and hello, my co-commentator, Abby. Uh, hello. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Abby. I'm new to, well, commentating for Grand Blue. I have a bit of experience on the side from other games. Um, I'm hoping this will be a lot of fun. Um, how are you all doing tonight? Uh, yeah, should be yeah. good. We got, they, we should, got... they should be alive, yes. We, we do have ourselves a ballroom going, and you know, there are a lot of viewers coming in here, but more importantly, we do have two players that brought yes. each other to have a quote-unquote dance here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's how it works. Yep. Yes, I do. I think that about sums it up. And we got Zoe versus UL, Zavite versus Tuho Juho. I'm not yeah, sure it's if Tuho Tuhu Yuho, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuhu Yuho is from um, Finland. Finland. And they do don't have the J. Ah. They have the uh, like Yi sound or something. So it's you. Ah, I see. Yeah. Right. It, it's it's something that I got from the from almost first day because in Lithuania it's the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're pretty close. Yeah. All right. Starting off, we got a bit. Of... Oh. Mm -hmm. Very strong anti air. Strong I mean, you. Well, you. Oh. I'm gonna be uh, doing. Yeah, yeah, keep, 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 keep doing that. Keep oh. doing that. I'll get it in time. So Sorry. we didn't get to introduce the players, only their names here. So Tuho yeah. Yuho is one of the best Yules in Europe here. Probably there are like few OD unknown returning Yules, like for instance Brother and so on. But Tuho is quite a menace, and he was in the Grand Blue scene for the longest of time, and he actually got to be known as the PhD in anti-airing as well, as we saw from the first interaction. Yeah. Well, on the other side, we have Zavid, who is, at the moment, top one active Zoe player in mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah. Is because Sunbang switched to Zera, if I remember right. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So but, uh... these two players have been playing a lot in base Grand Blue, and now they're being balling here in, you know, in the ballroom. Yeah. A first time match. Mm -hmm. Trying to adapt and learn how to play the Rising game as well. It's a bit different from uh, original Grand Blue, as I remember. <laughs> it is. It is quite different here, but unfortunately. For, for us, I think they are adapted to this gameplay yeah. quite well. We can see Tuko Yuho use the ultimate skills and the brave counters quite well yeah, exactly. now. While Zavid has been showing off some you know, pretty cute set set setup there, if you didn't know him. Why don't yeah. Alright, both of 1 BP left. Let's see if Zavid can get, work his way this, out of the corner this here. This LTP frame kill just gets me all the time. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, yeah, that's a very funky thing to do. Just DP them on wake up, but oh. you're still plus. <laughs> yeah. Right. By the way, that was Zavid using the ultimate thunder to just bait the pro. Like this mm -hmm. character does not have an air. That has an air style, quote unquote. Yeah. It's yeah. basically the thunder, but it always jumps out the way. And now that the EX thunder does not hard knock down. Ultimate Thunder is now a combo starter from that range. Yeah! It's very me. strong to have a good throw bait in this game, I feel like. Uh, the grab range is quite long, so shimmying can be difficult, but baiting with something like that instead is very good. You want, want to hear a little secret that has be, I've been abusing to hell against right. the throws? Do tell. It, yes, the throw range is huge, but you can just run up, press... If you don't use any dash momentum, you can press close light and it will push you out outside of the throw range. Oh. Regardless on the screen. That's very nice. Google gets the Raging Strike conversion there in the yeah. first game. Goes to very good. A nice back and forth going on there. The, both players seeming like they're close in level. Pretty nice. They are. They, uh, they are, they are their own right. character specialists and they've been mm -hmm. bowing in on multiple tournaments as well. Yeah. But now they just want to ball and see what we can then improve. 
Yeah. Um, fortunately, Tuhu might have, like, he got the first match, but I feel that Zavid has another, like, this kind of momentum train going, usually. Yeah. And even so, how Zoe in general works from changing from the base game. And, like, look at this. Yeah, this is some real momentum going on right here. More set play. Oh, over that one. Jeez, that's a bit of momentum. Jesus. Mm hmm. Might have lost yeah. that first game, but uh, not deterred in the slightest. Mm. One thing that I kind of miss from Tuvo now, when I'm, I'm looking at it, he doesn't particularly, like, spot dodge the dragons. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah, 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 he's trying to, but there's a specific timing to it, and obviously you have to be on not point with the, those. It's just not the specific timing. Like, yes, there is that one timing that actually catches both medium yeah. and heavy dragon. And mm. for me, the audio cues are pretty similar. Yeah. Two. Oh. <gasps> oh. Well, oh, that could have been big, but it wasn't close enough for the close heavy. Unfortunate. Then Raging Strike and good gotten the combo there, but now it's looking way Ooh. better for Tuhu because no BP. Yeah, he's, he he's on ship point as him. well. What is he gonna be? Oh, oh my! This might be. God. This is it. Oh, no, oh, oh, he dropped it. Oh, uh, unfortunate. No, he went into stance and got the Guran counter hit there. I'm pretty sure he wants to not go into stance and just get the No, he knows what he wants to go into stance like that, unfortunately. <laughs> Unlucky. But now Tuhu coming in with the vengeance, not like letting yeah, him exactly. win one match. And now here we go, Foxbox Hello? coming in hard, but drops another combo. Tuhu, please! Come on, Tuhu! <laughs> He's making up, give him, give him a minute. <laughs> Also, so I know that you haven't done your weekly Brave Counter challenge, but you don't need to use that many Brave Counters like that, okay? <laughs> well, I'll just try to fill out this weekly fan. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I'm kind of... I don't mind people using the Brave Counter a lot. I'd rather see it a bit too much than a bit, like, way too little. This is kind of a lot of zoner, zoner things going on. Uh, so on. Actually, cannot zone as effectively. Like, well, the A Dragon is now way, way better, mm -hmm. and but she's more of a neutral beast. She doesn't want to yeah, zone yeah. for long. Ooh, that is true. Like, uh, but in a situation like that, they are on low health. They have to find some way in. in the, at that point, it's uh, very hard to get in on a character like Zoe. <laughs> Even if she's not necessarily a donor. Mm -hmm. Again, the pillar goes in, plus the frame. Mm -hmm. Oh! And the lightning, this should be it. Yep. My god, the beat is on a roll now. The momentum very much shifted in his favor. Let's see if Tuho can find something to re reverse the sweep. I mean, it's just 2-1, it's the first to 10, they got time. Yeah, Unfortunately, obviously. they don't have the connection time on them. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Some fucking stuff mm. going on. Gets the low hit there. But Zavi does not believe in the knockdown, just pressing 2 Yeah, exactly. There. Knockdowns are a bitch. Who cares? Oh, no punish on the last one. What? Ooh, Ooh, I think that was meant to be a brave counter or something, but... That is plus on the um, spot dodge. Yep. Yeah, that's the whole part. Another fox That should be the round again. Mm -hmm. Tuho answering back. As I said, this is a first attempt, so they uh, exactly. got time to go, like, go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Currently, Zavid is playing hard on the momentum, and Tuho oh, Yuho is playing on the RPS and now slightly dying. Full Sick Dragon Mage yes. here. Can you punish it? Yes, Good you can. Good punish, very nice. Yep, minus 8 on block there. You tried to spot dodge the 6XL and it did not work out. And Tugo, unfortunately, again, he's dropping quite a lot of combos that might just put him in very good positions. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. overhead again. Okay, this time the dragon the meter is being used so hard. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and restores it with the ultimate dragon. Respectable. Ooh. No, it doesn't particularly restore as much, like it's yeah. useful. Tuho didn't really spot dodge it, and 
Actually, from that range, I feel that uh, with you, you can go into uh, to punish. Like, yeah. if his pocket dodge it is punishable. If mm -hmm. close enough. Exactly, exactly. Okay, this time. Oh, oh that, that was, was ultimate Hanarashi. Yeah, was yeah. This guy. One of those. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. but like Indeed. you said, it is a first attempt. A small uh, mess up like that is, is fine for now, at this stage. <laughs> Kind of At this stage, yes, but if when you're playing these kind of first attempts and these kind of like first attempts, even though it's ballroom uh, setting to be like casual first mm -hmm. attempts with chill commentary, oh boy, range of strike. You, yeah, see, you was... see the players are going for for the win, and these two players are on you know on competitive level. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So a slight mistake like that can actually be very huge in the grand scheme of things. Yep. All right, big combo coming from Yule here. Interesting damage from Yule. On yeah. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that route is like one of the most damaging things. That you can do. You could have balled, bro. Hmm. You could have balled. Yeah, now you're. Uh, he's still in an all right situation. Oh, very good DP. Yeah. Good reaction. If it even was a reaction. <laughs> He was right. not dunking his yips there, but unfortunately mm -hmm. for Zavid, Duho still managed to keep it up. 2-2. Two -two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Good this start. is... This is really strong when I think about it. Okay, so... Yes, oh. we, we all hate the 6 6 7 and whatnot. Oh, of right. course, yeah. Um, but at the same time, you have to consider that the different characters have different rewards and how they can use it. Mm -hmm. And you still need to do some hit confirming there. Two oh, can he's doing counter hit confirms. Yeah, into oh, the oh. far uh far oh, end, right? Yeah, that's very strong. In general. Yeah, no, it only comes with a counter hit. It's very uh, very good that he recognizes that in time oh, and like managing to get that. This is some pressure going on. <gasps> One so... hit away. Oh wait, what? My god. Did you just go over neutral? Yes. <laughs> Okay, ultimate on the yep. Russian gameplay. Oh, unfortunate. Good anti-air with the U skill. Mm -hmm. Really? Now, I I'm kind of wondering, Tuto is not dealing with one thing. Probably he's not prepared as much. So, you do... You know that the whole layer 1 and layer 2 shenanigans in Strike from. Uh, yes. Obviously, right. not from them. Yeah. So to 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 recap, strike well layer one is just do strike layer two and or throw. Otherwise, it just beats get beaten by the options like with fuzzy defense. So yes. the layer two is just to beat it out. So mm -hmm. Zavi has been using a lot of ultimate thunder. I don't think Tuvo exactly. has been really playing around that because you no, can still exactly. dodge and punish him. Yeah, that is very big in this matchup. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Face it out in a way where he could still take his turn after the. Blow. No, it's not. It's minus four. It is still minus four, but it somehow Probably. worked out. <laughs> it, it worked out because. Oh. You can space that. Huh? Well, mm. there you go. These these Hanarashi gamers, I swear to God. Zavid, yeah, just walk no. forward more. Um. Alright, oh. Did it confirm? Uh, it's fine. It still has the far light. If you exactly, right exactly. But I mean, you need to be very full screen to Hanarashi to space out. I don't think that was spaced hmm. as much. It oh, was. Sure. I need to play more Yules. I haven't been seeing them. <laughs> oh. uh, again, no spot dodge. Unfortunately. I mean, it's fine. It can be you just block it. It's just plus yeah. block. Oh, come on. What's the who you were trying to do there? Is he messing up? <gasps> oh, that should be it. There we go. I okay, so I don't know what happened there exactly or how what kind of flowchart fiesta happened. Duo just went with the dash and probably dialed in the fox box just to have it at the pro debate, but yeah. just didn't notice that Zavid was in the air. Zavid Thunder misses under him. Yeah. Mostly because the fox box kind of snaked in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was all uh, planned, don't worry about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. He definitely meant for that to happen. Alright. Some dragon stuff going on. It's gone already, Zavik. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's just 
not a good spot to be in. Not a concern at all. Push. Goes for the overhead. Gets the yeah. soft knockdown. Managed to hold out while the dragon was out. Didn't Ish. end up mattering. Gonna be S B A here, leaving in one strike for situation. Goes for the fr okay. This is a chip. Bunch of chips going on. Yeah. Yo, that's too far away for Brave Counter to work out. Mm -hmm. It was kind of obvious, he probably didn't decide to go for the strike throw. He, like, Z Zoe is known in base Grand Blue to have really good checkmate situations. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really hard to deal with a lot of chip coming from the, the dragons. It's easier here now, mostly because the spot dodge timing it still exists, but you cannot really deal with the thunders as well, yeah. where combined with the dragons. So that was definitely a setup for that. Exactly. Also, not even a Brave Counter is going to save you in that situation, so it's uh, pretty difficult to be in. Kanawashi. Oh, oh the fade. I wonder, does does Zoe 4H hit both Kanawashi options? Hmm. Uh, this, this is something that I, like, only, like, Yules and those people that play against the uh, Yule usually know. Like yeah. for instance, Anila's far H um, hits both, mm -hmm. so you can do two to react to the movement back, and the, the far H will hit them. Usually, far H's do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, it kind of depends on the character. I felt like with Fairy, it was kind of difficult to find one option that was going to hit both. Uh, but the medium DP does a pretty good job at it. Also, this is. Uh... Very much a zone around going on right here. No, it was more like a Dara Zoner match. It was mostly Zavid throwing Dragon as much as possible to get the chip in. Mm -hmm. QM. Nice. So one thing Very that uh, that changed in in Royal Rising. Is how what's the spa uh, situation after spa dodging the the dragons? Like, if you spa dodge the M dragon on reaction, yeah, it is a negative situation for Zoe. Ah, she's never plus. No, it was okay. it was still plus in previous game, but that changed the timings on how Zoe had to play the pressure. Mm -hmm. But now you're plus after H dragon and spa dodging at the same time. I see. It's kind of weird like that. Mm -hmm. A nice dodge oh, and punish. Good punish, very nice. Yep, landing good recovery way. does exist. Again, dealing with the dragons. Oh, good keep out poke. Yep. Yeah. Oh, again. This keep out from Zavay is just being... Like, stopping everything. Hmm? <laughs> Can't get in. No! He has the brave count. Oh, no, you back that! That is unfortunate. Alright, alright. I have stall. Gonna go with the fox ball. I'm kind of surprised that these dragons in spot dodging still haven't hit anybody. They hit me. I hit it here. <laughs> oh shit. Hello there, Rose. Welcome to Ball Free from me, Ballroom with Zavid and Tuhu Yugo fighting up here in the ballroom. Free freaks currently, and they're one round up, like their last round for this match. No Who's one's that? here on the HDP again. Shush. Both players very close in level. There we go, interesting damage from Yule again. It's not as interesting yet, because it was full BP. Oh, but Tuhu, yeah. Two who can die now from anything. Exactly. Nice ball dodge. Besides, we play played safe. By the way, the H Rekka, the first hit, is now punishable. Oh. On block, Oh, yeah. no spot dodge on the Yu Dragon. That is gonna be big trouble. Let's see if we can get out of this. 
Oh. I'm trying to remember, it is punishable, but it's either minus 6 or minus 8, and I cannot tell you, Sagey. I know that I punish it with Fall Light on Manila, that's about it. Go for B, gonna get the plus frame pressure here. Oh, Stan's game! Stan's game is so good now in this version, because now the flip is... Now the flip is plus on block. Okay, gonna get the combo here to oh. you into Raging Strike. He's gonna be using a... Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh lord almighty. So... No BP is, though, this is... This is some weird, like, layer three or four type of situation that happened here. I'm pretty sure... Oh my god! <laughs> that was an uh, absolutely Oh, Zoe 2 that hits both! Huh? No, the, the thing is, what happened there, Zavid kinda used the... No, Zavid jumps to bait out the Brave counter or a Throw Tech. It covers both of those options while he was holding back. I so... See. And while Tulud used the MDP there to get out of the pressure, that pressure is kind of fake. You cannot particularly save jab it, if I remember right. So it kind of worked out that Zavid was just baiting some kind of option there. Yeah. While MDP is air blockable after the first hit, like it's. Yeah. If, if Tuho used the EXDP as a reversal, it would have worked out. Exactly. Or for Tuho. Oh. Mm -hmm. Big damage? Yeah, pretty big. And a throw to even it up. Mm -hmm. Can both players very close in games. They are really close in level, yeah. yeah. And they're both like working in these like free round situations quite oftenly. I would say that Tugu is he's very calculating with uh, you, he's as you've noticed, he's never like pushing that very aggressive playstyle. No, I mean, exactly. what? Yo, it's a very slow, calculated kind of you, and uh, I like that actually. Very nice mm -hmm. to see. Into a linked in SBA for maximum damage here. Did you see that Bray Hanarashi backflip on the Bray break counter? Yeah, unfortunately, didn't get to punish, but looked pretty sick. Yeah, definitely. It's a cool yeah, yeah, he did, Jabak. Oh, counter hit. I mean, it combos without a counter hit. It just depends what you what pick yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. 4-4 four, four now. Oh, again, the hate It was strength. just too high. Well, unfortunately for Zavid, it was too high. Couldn't really get a conversion there. Mm -hmm. Usually you can get a dash every conversion. Yeah, exactly. I've also seen the U Dragon being used in that situation. But... Oh, my oh my god, that's a funky combo. I like it. That was just from the um, um, overhead option there. Ooh, nice shimmy. Just burns the super early to just kill the two bravery points. Yeah, I exactly. really like this. Bit. I like the uh, yeah, I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. Oh. Oh my god, very nice. Very nice delay match from the beat. Taking a rope. He, he saw that he got shimmied and he instantly switched into 2L to... Exactly. This mode mostly works because of the fuzzy... Like, fuzzy mash you're working on the Frotex. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, is annoying. Yeah, yeah. But, at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, people really do not consider how much damage red taking constantly does. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I'm just too used to death by thousand cuts type of playstyle. Yeah, you're not playing Rising yet. <laughs> I am playing Rising. Oh no, wrong! Oh, my God. That raging, that match was so wrong! Oh, Intercepts up you go. Oh, <laughs> again, blocking the MDP, and that's the round. Goku! Heroes HDP! Yeah, he's now paying for. 
Why is he with HDP? This there is a issue, I'm sorry, I'm from three times cutting you. Exactly. <laughs> I think it <laughs> I mean, I think it happened once and it should just be like, okay, alright, I'll just use the H1 instead, but he's not adapted that yet. Oh good job. Oh, if, if you really want to, you can use the ultimate HDP, though I don't know how powerful ultimate DP is for you. Because usually the ultimate reversals can give you the corner swap situations. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good damage there for two. Who tries to go for some oh. chip options here? Kanarashi is out, just sitting there in the corner. He's fine. No dragon mirror gate left, and we're gonna have to look at that projectile skill icon to see when it's gonna be back. Yep. But I don't think it's gonna work out. For wait, it's gonna uh, work out. It is gonna work out. <laughs> oh no! It, no it animation. Is. No dragon. Yeah, he's gonna yet. have the dragon back in a minute. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh no. this guy! I'm not sure what he was cooking with the two three six U, but uh, you know what? Sick RPS. Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my I really God. like that. I really like that they just break the uh, break counter with that. That frame traps and the counter hit we go. Gonna burn the MDP. What's the set play here? Plus frames from them. Just goes for the oh. parry from the stands. Getting out and of see, the corner see with this the MDP. Where, well, I noticed it was Zabit that does use that to his advantage. He gets the ultimate DP, gets on the other yeah, side. You don't exactly. want to be in the corner. So. You do not want to stay in the corner for long. So I wonder how much is... Wait, what? No! Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. That Zuko was definitely just a round. As you know, F F if Fuzi watched this, he would say, Yep, Tuho did that. <laughs> what a gamer. <laughs> he did the thing. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a really fast match, and we're still, like, half... We're basically halfway there. Yeah, five five. exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna expect a lot more games like this. This close, even gameplay between these two. Mm. Ooh. Eating a lot of chip damage and exactly. plus frames there from the uh, from the dragons too. Who is not risking on the spot dodge for whatever reason? Yeah, he's just letting Zoe get game. But I feel that having the option to spot dodge uh, the dragons, like if you can do it consistently. Yeah, it's very big. Oh, good anti-air. Is this gonna be yeah. it? He's basketballing Ooh. and might Come be it. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's not it. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, the two hits from the, the Rekka here. If he went for DP or something else, they're probably... Yeah, it might have killed him. I did not know the wreck I even counted as two hits, but uh, that's how I learned, I guess. Apparently it does. I mean, it's it's very arbitrary. There's, there's a whole point system in every special and button. Oh, uh, yeah. Point yeah. Point, so it's something that you should you really wouldn't need to know unless you're really optimizing combos. Exactly. It's not something you're gonna know unless you're gonna be playing a lot of Zoe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so really using the backdash there, Tuho really wanted to go back in from the backdash. Mm -hmm. oh, Probably trying to use it as a shimmy. Mm. Swampin actually taught me one more thing that- oh, oh no. no! This is gonna hurt, this is gonna be dead! It's looking like it. No, oh. not quite. It's combo no, no in the middle of the hit. Ah, uh, check damage kill. Yeah, so about the backdash with the whole shenanigan. One thing that is very important when dealing with fuzzy defense is knowing the timing what your opponent is using as fuzzy defense. And really, you want it or, or not, you need to be a, like, to, at the toppest of the top player to be able to micromanage oh. your fuzzy defense timings, right? Yeah. So you want it or not, people will have, like, habits. Yeah, so, it's... It's something that's very difficult to actually change your habits in, so again, yeah, the top players are gonna do that, but a lot of players are gonna have a very specific pattern when it comes mm -hmm. to stuff like this. 
So backdash, what it does is the safest way to check the timing of the fuzzy defense. You're calling out uh. everything from the fuzzy defense. Well, almost everything, depending, like, for instance, if Fairy uses 2U, it will catch the backdash. Yeah. Oh, getting that 6-6 six, six ending into Raging Strike just to clear it up. 6-5, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And went on on a tangent here. Mm -hmm. Mm. If I take it a lead, however, Tuho is looking to just take it back immediately anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 the thing is, if you're doing backdash and the opponent does nothing, you, basically you're relinquishing, relinquishing back your turn. Yeah. Because your opponent can do any, uh, anything, and Zavid is just using that to his advantage. Mm -hmm. oh. Gonna get the Hanarashi. Tuho really Tuho. likes to throw the Hanarashi away a lot. Oh, I like counter, put them in the corner. Mm -hmm. Time for some pressure. Ooh, good confirm. And we're gonna see the SB here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gonna be some good damage done here. Oh, the great counter too. Oh, this is huge though. He has no more ray points. Anything is gonna That's do it now. Block. Come on. Or is it, wait, that was was it medium one? Medium zero, the Dell one is minus two. Oh. You want it or not, Zoe is my most played oh. matchup in these grammar. Oh, surprising. Oh. No, no, we didn't get it, unfortunate. And mm. this is one hit away from either player. What is it? Oh, oh good anti air from Zavid. Yeah, long range anti airing there. Oh, the dragon. That is still plus situation. You have to respect the Zavid afterwards. He, but he's spending a lot of dragon meter for that. Like, that's yep. the only thing they need to consider. But he's now back. Oh, on yeah. Board. Back online. <laughs> no. Oh! Good punish, however. Oh my god. This guy. <laughs> close hedge, close hedge, close hedge. <laughs> this guy. There's a lot of spinning going on in this combo. I like it. <laughs> oh, that was a funky combo. Oh, we get some another A yeah, and this low should on the be Yeah, it's yep. something like there a kill. Alright, evening it up again. Uzi, you kind of missed the moment where they did that. Yeah, they did a 60 cell, uh, Fuzi. It was uh, impressive. <laughs> Oh, there we go, saying. there we go, he's starting to run with it. Woo! But now, 6-6. Six, six. Zavi, Tuhu, Yuho, they're going neck to neck here. Yep. Oh, I oh. like that. No punish again. You like. He's not going for the throw punish at all, I feel like. Or it's something that it's not ingrained. It's. it's uh, Probably everybody that played base Grand Blue remember that thing's unpunishable, just minus. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But because throw is faster now, I guess you can just throw it every single time. They're this not ready for it. Yeah. throw is weird. Yeah, it makes oh, sense. Oh lord. Especially when, they, yeah, mm -hmm. it, especially when they used to be much slower. Uh, now getting that into your system is probably a lot harder. <laughs> Alright. get some good damage here with last wish and the dragon yep. gate which is important oh this time, that's a throw. okay this this is probably the moment when we are talking that it can be spaced out and it's yeah, exactly. just spaced out just outside the pro uh, pro punish range mm -hmm. is who's really using that from far far away Oh, very oh, good combo. Jump. Firm. This is gonna be a big combo into the SBA. Mm -hmm. I really like this Fox Flame link into SBA. Yeah, exactly. Link, linking supers gives you like that 10% and usually is a lot. Add up to the fact that they have huge minimal scaling. Mm -hmm. oh my God, dragons. <gasps> oh, good 6XL. Very nice. He just decided enough blocking your end dragons, I'm going in. Exactly, he had enough. Oh, good punish. To punish the 2U here with the high Hanarashi this time. 
2 mixing up those options. Ren does not anti air the neutral jump. Mm -hmm. What's the option here? Corner pressure. Good UDP getting himself out of the corner, most likely. There we go. And now it's his party time. Let's see if Tuho can find a way out of this. He, he, he's good to hold it. Yeah, he can just hold it for a, a good while. And the Dragon Meter is about to run out too, so this is... Yep, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's gonna kill. I find, okay, go on. I find it very typical that Fuzi joins chat, tells people to 6XL, and then Tuho just wins a round of uh, just 6XL confirms. <laughs> no. I want to talk about one, two things. One, this is the first time Tuho got advantageous. Uh, well, the second time he won the first. Yeah, match. he won the very first one. Exactly. This and is that the first course, time he's It was just people. catch up. Mm -hmm. But now, one another point that I want to mention is that patience. I feel that like people forget and and many levels of play that there are two ways of winning a fighting game round. Yeah, exactly. And the Tuho, time... yeah, go on. The timer is always a factor as well. You can always play into that. So it's fine to just be like, you know what, I have a life lead. You have to deal with me now. I'm just going to sit here and block. It doesn't matter what character you're playing. That is a viable option that you need to consider. Yep, that is definitely true. But there's another thing that you basically people don't consider. Um, did you know that typically strike specials is chip more than project level specials? Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So if he, he he could have blocked a lot of those dragons and they uh, spend dragon meter, you know, and if he mm -hmm. really wanted to get back the meter to have more like those chipping specials, he would need to charge more. That's why Tuho was playing very patiently. And now, like like this, he's fine oh. playing patiently when he has the health advantage. Exactly. Find that moment, but oh, unfortunate. If he What's didn't go stand, if he didn't yeah. have go oh, stand, he would have blocked it. Oh, the stands, I see. Stan does not parry Project L. No, anymore. exactly, it doesn't work on Project Does only on strikes. Mm. Oh, there we go. Anarashi time. I feel this is some deja vu moment. By the way, sick crouch confirmed there. Yeah, very good. Playing mm. safe here, again. Oh, very nice. Dash M, working his way in. Oh, what? Bro! He walked back! <laughs> He didn't take his plus friends. Probably we was trying to cash shimmy there? Okay. Yeah, probably. Okay, go on the throw, go and get the corner. Oh, this should be it. Be it. Light confirmed. Yeah. Very good. And just like that, evening it up again. Yeah, this time Zavid was on the catch up, but still neck to neck with these two players. Exactly. Can't count either of them out. Another good still confirm. still waiting for that. Currently, most damage that's coming from Tuho is that he's been using those Hanarashis oh, and like this kind of shimmy. Very game good. Zavid. While Zavid, most damage comes from the fact that Tuho is more deciding to block all the dragons. Like, exactly. yeah, this, this, this looking like a two around right now. Very much looking yeah. like a two around, but mm. yeah, however. <laughs> So Vid heard that and he was like, yeah, nah, <laughs> I'm uh -huh. not having that. <laughs> oh my the god, I'm gonna be honest, I absolutely love how that combo looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually optimal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Del Dragon's right. being spot marked here. Yep. One Ooh, thing that you have to, to confirm. Well, one thing to, to remind, I feel that this is. Oh, oh dash H combo, there we go. Google was sandwiched there with the H Dragon yeah. and he oh took the God. advantage. Like, this is the reason why H Dragon became like a neutral metas. Can't really jump freely like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, punish, oh, very good. 2 to you combo, most likely. There we go. Big damage, but you have a lot to make up for. And the brave counter, yeah, that is a very precarious situation to be in. I really like Tuhu Yuhu's fight or flight as a response there. He got brave counter and he just pressed far M to catch anything that comes in his way. Yeah, exactly. 
I mean, at that point, he was gonna get chipped. He had to do something. So I guess you could spot dodge, but that's not gonna lead into anything. So, uh, you know what? May as well try I mean, it, right? It, it's the eight dragons just plus frames, and he would need to like, get another point. The chip exactly, damage, exactly. The chip damage is not the end of the game well, on any given time, unless you're playing against Danilla. Hmm. Oh, meaty, meaty fireball where, where you see spot dodge, you die. Oh, god. Or if you're playing it secret. Oh, yeah. Meaty fireball that if you spot dodge, you die. That is checkmate in me. Yeah. Anyways, we're looking at the No breakpoints, but it doesn't matter. Woo, we're going into SSBA, and this damage has been restored. I'm not sure if it's gonna kill because there were some multiple hits, and that was pretty rough. No, yeah, other kills. Yeah. Zero BP yeah. gameplay. Took all of his BP there, so. And we're going to summer. Uh, you will impose that, but that was skipped. God damn it! Why are you not giving me the SSBA finishes? <laughs> I know that you're trying to game here. I just want to go back into it. <laughs> all right, some more dragon dragon gaming. Oh, Ooh. roll. Cushion. Yeah, I guess. Bit of a questionable choice there. One thing that I've noticed that now Tuho's combo game got way more stable exactly. compared to the first first games. Now he's getting way way more reward. Well, Zavi's just play, playing the same, the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. Zavi has been very consistent throughout the set. I feel like. Yeah, he's been consistently playing kind of the same game, but yeah. mixing up timings with the dragons, mixing Obviously. up with the, with the buttons. But he's always going for the similar things. Mm -hmm. Two, on the other hand, has been experimenting. I feel. Yeah. Or just. Just okay. send it. Just send the Hanarashi. Or he's, just send, he's either experimenting or he's just sending that Hanarashi. <laughs> exactly. It's on you to deal with that. Exactly. That was a good jump in, by the way. Mm -hmm. Alright, Hanarashi time. Not this time. Stun Yipper. Right, we did name the Stun Yipper. Stun Yipper. <laughs> oh god. Take the turn back. Oh, Cat is doing last. Turn. Yeah, so Zavid's been playing a lot on the last switch uh, like that just to get the bar back. It's fully invincible as well, but yeah. you need to, you know, react to something or be preemptive more. <laughs> Hard to do that when the 6 is a thing. Exactly. Okay, back. What? Oh, the oh. pillar, but that was not a counter, and so couldn't really get the combo. Yeah, still in this game for both players, though. Oh, that is big. Another ultimate on the rush. However, no more points. <laughs> this is it. Is, that's it. There we go. And Tuho now taking the lead convincingly, two games up. So he needs to make something happen. Also, I'm uh, getting booted. <laughs> Let's uh, please wait for everybody, don't worry. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's suffering. No, 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 no. We're fine, we're fine. This is the first time in the set that someone has a two late game lead, indeed. Yeah, they're going back to back, but now, as I said, the Tuho kind of got a bit more consistent on how he's getting his reward. And now it's on Zavi to figure out some some options here. Nice catch. Exactly. Hot dodge afterwards with the throw. I actually, you know what? I kind of miss the, the fact that, that Zavit hasn't been really playing a lot of the, the strike throw game. Oh, at yeah. The start, at the start, he was playing a lot of ultimate uh, thunders, and you know, Tuko didn't really challenge them. He was mm -hmm. content on blocking him. And the thing is that Zavit could have done a lot more with it, I feel. Yeah, now his game plan basically shifted to just trying to space out with the dragons all the time, and while it definitely works for him, it, you may want to change that up a bit. Be a bit more aggressive yourself. Oh, sick RPS. Yeah, yeah. Sick RPS. The, the, the thing is that I feel that his, he's getting most of the damage just from calling out to Ryuho's approaches, exactly. Hanarashi's and whatnot. But he's not getting a lot from the conventional uh, pressure. He, yeah, his, exactly. His best damage openers were from EX Thunder setups. Mm -hmm. He's not really creating uh, like straight up mixed situations, other than the thunder setups. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you want like figure out count how many supers did Zavid get to do uh, and as a combo to to Ho Yuho. Proud, proud I, I think I I remember one, but it didn't go into the cin cinematic. And other than mm -hmm. that, 
Yeah, that's it. I think that's Compared about it. Compared to Tuho Yuho. Tuho who keeps landing them constantly, yes. And Tuho now on set point, actually. Oh my god. Time for a big claw combo. Ooh, unfortunately the far end didn't work there, however, just do it again. <laughs> this could be, this isn't it, but e? this is a pretty precarious situation to be in terms of E. One strike throw, baby. Exactly. Here we go, defending against the throw with the tech here. Get out, out of the he jump. He didn't get the yes. 2H and punishes it. The, the run-up super jump is a good option, honestly, if you're in the, if you're cornered. Go for the DP! RPS. And win. And you know what? You know what's the worst part? Tuko, you go to the MDP again! <laughs> I fucking hate it here. <laughs> it didn't matter. He didn't have to adapt that. Oh, anyways, this set is gonna be over with a 10 7 going to yep. Tuho Yuho, showing that his Yule still slaps. Very strong showing from both of them, actually. Um, but yeah, that was a good set. Mm hmm, definitely. As I said before, Zavid, I definitely saw that Tuhu played more of the strike throw game than Zavid. Zavid usually just went for the throws at very, very specific timings. Like, exactly. One of the most prominent moments where when the EX Thunder was a thing from across he just ran and got the throws. Only mm -hmm. then. Otherwise, yeah. just he uh... hasn't faded anything after like the first two matches. Yeah, that's probably so. Uh, that's definitely something for him to look in, uh, into. Maybe change up a bit, but still very good. Um, and now we're gonna see Shaiji playing Fairy versus uh, Zeno, and Zeno I think picked Lucilius, right? Yes, Zeno, yes. One of the first master uh, Bubsas in Europe, big fan. Ooh. Versus Seiji, a returning OG legend from the base Grand Blue. Yeah. And that Fairy is still a menace to deal with. Definitely. Uh, also, by far, my favorite Fairy to watch, so I'm in for a treat here. Uh, um, yeah, I'm so going to keep it as unbiased as possible. Go on. Go on. Uh, I'm gonna please keep... tell me everything that you know about Fairy, because uh, yeah. I'm not very versed in Fairy. I only know. Mm -hmm shenanigans that I need to to fight Perry. Yeah. Obviously. And uh, I'll be unbiased here as well. In season one, this guy Breaker made me despise Fairy <laughs> to extreme I... degrees. I feel like the entire story of me playing this game so far is uh, me playing Fairy, and then whenever I struggled with so with something, people were just like, "Yeah, but you're playing Fairy. You're paying for your sins." I'm like, "I didn't get to commit those sins, okay?" <laughs> I now, now have to deal with it. <laughs>